She's been called the Marilyn Monroe of the fairways. So you go in the back of the pro shops and my picture and my poster is up there. I mean, that's kind of neat. Her best-selling poster caused a sensation on the women's pro golf tour. Why is it suddenly women's golf, you're ruining the purity of the game by selling it with sex? Everything is sold with sex. Jan Stevenson is the Australian pinup girl of the fairways who put the sex appeal in women's golf. It really made her popular. Uh, made her popular with uh, the people who are sponsoring the tournaments because she held herself very well and made her very popular with the men coming out to watch golf because they just came out to watch her. They come out to watch her swing uh, more than anything else or just look at her. Uh, and so her image of the, you know, the Marilyn Monroe, the, the sexy type, is, is really really been uh, quite beneficial for the tour. In 1985, Jan was picked as the sexiest athlete by readers in the USA Today poll. But she's not just another pretty face. Last year, she won three tournaments and took home over $200,000 in prize money. Before Jan stepped up to the tee in 1983 with the win at the US Open, women golfers were known more for their golfing form than for their sexy figures. Jan's image of a sex symbol was born of necessity. Back in the early 80s, women's golf was out of swing with the public, and a new commissioner decided it was time to attract some attention to the tour. The new commissioner of the LPGA had come on board, and he said, hey, I want to change the image. These girls are cute, they're young, but nobody knows that it's changed. Of course, I was in trouble for, you know, some of the pictures I did, and it was good for the tour because every time we came into town, until the tournament started, they would talk about something that I had done. But not everybody was ready for golfing's first sex symbol, and Jan took a lot of heat for what some saw as her swinging attitude. It really didn't bother me. You know, I got so much mail telling me from, like, feminist movement, how could you do this? We've made all of these great strides, and now you come along and you move it all a step back. And that, I got offended by that because... In actual fact, I, I'm very much a career woman. I'm very much into my career. And why should you hide your femininity to prove that you're independent? Jan's position proved to be a much needed shot in the arm for women's golf, increasing attendance and attention. Last year, the Ladies Pro Golf Tour handed out $11 million in prize money, double the 1980 figure. Corporate sponsors made a difference, and nobody is more popular with the front office boys than Jan. Teeing off with the LPGA are Procter & Gamble, Nabisco, and R.J. Reynolds, companies that use sex appeal to sell everything from cigarettes to shampoo. Everything is sold with sex appeal. I mean, sex is probably sex appeal. And the men's tour, you know, all those girls that go out there are not going to go to look at the golf shops. They're going to look at the cute bodies. I mean, I hear them say that all the time. So it's not just women's golf. I don't know why they keep discriminating saying, you cannot do this to women's golf. You're lowering, lowering the image of women's golf by selling with sex. Everything is sold that way. Today at 37, Jan Stevens is a golfer who has matured into a major force on the fairways. And though she missed this putt on the 18th at the U.S. Open this year, she says she's having more fun than ever. I now, luckily, that I'm old enough and I'm beyond that glamorous sex deal. You know, I'm old enough now that that's not what they talk about. They talk about the tournaments that I've won. And now I can actually go out and not be bothered with all that PR. And the first time I come into town, it's not a controversy on what I'm wearing and or what I'm not wearing. You know, it's, now they really concentrate on what I'm playing. Too old? Never. To many who follow women's golf, Jan Stevenson will always be the girl from down under who let it all hang out.